Alright, what up you fucking bass fiends? Here's another video. I know it's been a while. I've been too busy enjoying my setup here. Um, it is windy as a motherfucker today. You can see the you can see the uh, tumbleweed just rolling. Anyway, um, things to say about this setup here. Uh, honest opinions. Man, this thing sounds so good. It sounds way better than my Type R's ever did uh, as far as uh, the mid-bass punch. And it's just got a cleaner, drier, uh, just a sharper, more accurate bass. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. And I'm not saying that because I'm hug hugging the fucking sundown boner because I got a sundown sub. I'm saying that because that's what's up. You know, that's a real deal. Um, you guys already know the size of the enclosure. You know what I'm running it off of. Um, I got a request by uh, 1500 TB, or maybe it was TB 1500 or something. Uh, he wanted to see some inbox excursion. And, uh, and I'll go ahead and get a little bit of rear panel flex. Uh, this frequency on this song, the low note in this in this song, is not the right frequency to get everything flexing. Um, this box likes the lows, and so does the sub. The sub fucking is just sucking up the wattage from the sample. Like it's fucking laughing at it. Um, if I'm clipping real bad, which you know I, I do, push it into clipping every now and then. You can feel the dust cap get warm, but you know it it's it, it hangs. I mean it's it's taken probably to, I'm sure at least minimum you know at some frequencies, at some points, it's taken over a thousand watts and, and, and it literally is laughing at the power. Um, I am driving the sub pretty close to its full potential, but if I had some clean power that was for sure, for sure unclipped, I think it could handle a hell of a lot more. Um, so, you know, everybody that says that these, su these subs are good uh, on a thousand watts daily, I, I would have to agree. You know, I think this sub is very capable of a thousand watts daily as long as the power is absolutely spick and span clean. Um, so anyway, without too much fucking bullshitting here, excuse my messy ass fucking truck. Um, let me go ahead and get, let's get this uh, let's get this thing pumping. I cut out the intro so you guys don't have to sit there and wait. <laughs> Ah. All right. That's never a good sign. This amp does not like one ohm unless you roll into it really easy. So let me go ahead and power cycle my head unit here so it'll reset the amp. Um, I got it running at one ohm. I have a D2 um, SA12, so they're both parallel down to one ohm. And every now and then I'll get it into protection because, like I said, you got to roll into the volume because it, it just it doesn't like to get slammed like that. Protection circuit's kind of kind of sensitive. But uh, the amp is only meant to be run at 2 ohms, so it does get hotter than shit sometimes if I'm bumping on it for a while. But uh, it doesn't ever overheat, um, although it gets hot enough to the point where you can't even barely touch the thing. But uh, anyway, so here we go. Let's try this again. Sorry for the windiness, guys. I know it sucks. Fucking probably gonna sound like shit, but nothing really I can do about that. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, it's so fucking windy out here. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's probably going to sound like crap on my mic, but there's nothing I can really do about that.
Um, I'm going to put on some lower frequencies. This is baseball and slowed. I think the center frequency is pretty close to about 28 hertz or so. I don't know where it's at, but it gets nasty low. Um, I'm going to let you guys check that out for a second here real quick. I don't know if you guys caught that uh, tailgate flexing and uh, and the, the back of the, the diamond plate on the side of my bed. I've never been able to move that before. Um, and like I said, this song I think it's I think it's at around centers around 28 hertz or so. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But um, man, like I said, I can't say enough good things about this setup. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of questions saying, you know, well, how do you like it compared to the Type R's and whatnot? Um, Honestly, if I was to do it all over again, I'd definitely be sticking to Sundown. And I'm not just saying that because I'm popping a fat-ass fucking Sundown boner because uh, I got a Sundown sub. I'm saying that because that's what's up. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to give an honest opinion. Um, the mid-bass with the two Type R's, you know, you got two motors, two cones driving the force, you know, or the, the, bass, the bass kicks and stuff. I mean, it, it sounds, you know, the Type R's, to be honest, they sounded a little punchier, but that's just because I had two subs, you know, compared to this one. Um, but it was also tuned a little higher. Completely different setup. You know, that was better for mid-bass punch. This one just crushes lows like ridiculous. And it's due to the box design. Um, it is tuned to 30 hertz, uh, but it also is in part due to the woofer uh, quality as well. There's not a lot of subwoofers that can play at box tuning with the wattage that I got going to it that are rated for 600 watts, you know, and hang with it, you know. Uh, this sub's laughing at the power that I have. You know, I'm pushing it straight up. I'm not going to lie. I'm pushing it into fucking hard clipping. Um, and sometimes the dust cap does get warm, and it is warm now, slightly, but, uh, like I said, you know, it, it's, it, it's dirty-ass power. I'm fucking clipping the shit out of it. You know, there's the amplifier there. I'm clipping the piss out of it, and the sub pretty much, I mean, it, it is, it is going thermal somewhat, but if I had clean power, I guarantee you it'd take a lot more. Um, I've got a thousand going to this thing right now, and I'd be comfortable throwing more than that at it if it was really clean power. Um... Mid bass notes on this sub are so clean; they don't blend, kind of like the the Type R's do. When you have like, if you're playing like a punk rock song, and it's got a, um, it's got a, you know, you got like a double bass kick, or you know, or a double bass kick with a bass riff in the in the background from a bass guitar, it sounds so accurate. You know, you hear the the notes are defined; they don't blend together. It's very tight, very controlled. You know, like I said, it's like a dry type of a bass. I don't know how how else to explain it. You know, it's. It sounds incredibly good, and like I said, if I was to do it all over again, I would do it in a heartbeat because this is just so much better, you know, of, uh, it's just a better built sub. It can take the abuse that I, because that I, I'm abusive with my shit, as you guys all know, um, and this sub's laughing at me, so um, I, I'm going to order a recone just for fun, just in case, you know, 
Um, and I'll probably be ordering another sub here very shortly, and I do have enough MDF to build another box, so I'll probably repeat the same exact setup right here um, and throw two boxes in here. It should have just enough room to fit by about an inch, what I measured. So I won't be able to hear my rear door speakers anymore, but whatever. I'm going to probably just pull those out and throw them in the fucking trash can because they're worthless anyway. Um, but anyway, that's my review of the Sundown Audio SA-12. Um, I can't do any cup tricks or anything, you know, impressive today. Um, I know my last video had a cup trick in it, and it was very unimpressive. It was an ugly video. Um, it did show that, you know, I did. I have both windows open, and I'll show that to you the next time. It's uh, on a calmer day. Um, I had both windows open, and it was still holding that cup up there. You know, my video didn't quite show, you know, the, the amount of air that was moving through the cabin. But I promise you guys, it was pulling a cup trick. Um, I'll, I'll, I did a few, a few of them before, and I didn't even have my my video camera, so I wasn't able to tape it. But uh, it does move a pretty good amount of air for a single 12. I'm fucking impressed. I'm impressed with the price. I'm impressed with the build quality. I'm impressed with the sound quality. Uh, kudos to Jacob from Sundown. You know, he 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 he's he's an awesome designer, and I can't say enough good things about this setup. Um, you know, and it's and it's both in part due to the subwoofer enclosure design, and also, um, and also the sub itself. You know, I mean, the combination of the two just, I mean, uh, I'm I'm extremely impl impressed. I can't say enough good things. So anyway, enough of the yada yada and blah 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 blah. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, upload a couple other videos here too. I'm gonna take some other videos. I don't know if I'll get around to actually uploading them today, but I'll try. Um, so anyway, so with that, I'm out.